Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify a radical expression using the quotient property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given, well, three things we want to simplify, and we're going to use the quotient property to do that. Again, quotient property basically tells us if we have an nth root of a fraction, that we can take the nth root of the numerator and denominator individually. So that's it basically in a nutshell, and vice versa. So let's look at our first one here, the square root of 45. Well, 45 is a five times a nine. So I break this out, 45 to be five times nine, and 80 is five times a 16. I'm trying to simplify what I can on the inside of the square root to get a perfect square in my numerator and denominator. Fives clearly cancel here, and we have the square root of 9 over 16. Now, our quotient property tells us that we can separate this into two different square roots. Square root of 9 over square root of 16. Well, square root of 9 comes out to be a 3, and a square root of 16 comes out to be a 4. And so when it's all said and done, the square root of 45 over 80 is a 3 fourths. Now the second one here, a little bit more, well, difficult, but we can manage it. Notice it's the third root here, okay? So we're going to try to break this up into, well, things that are well, perfect cubes. 16, so keep it together, the third root, 16 is a 2 times an 8. 8 is a perfect cube, 2 cubed. 54 is 2 times a 27. Same idea, 27 is a perfect cubed. These twos also cancel out. So now we have the third root of an 8 over 27 left over. We can apply our quotient property, and we can take the third root of 8 over the third root of a 27. Third root of 8, like I said, is a 2, and the third root of 27 is a 3, and we have our simplified answer. The third root of 16 or 54 is just a two-thirds. <clears throat> now lastly, we have the fourth root again. We have the fourth root of, well, 5 over 80, okay? Well, how can we <clears throat> break this down? Well, I want to see if I can separate the numerator and denominator into perfect fourths. So fourth root here, 5 is just a 5 times a 1. You'll see that in a minute. It's a little a little special case here. 80, we've already talked about, is 5 times 16. And what's pretty cool about 16 is 16 is also a, a perfect square as well as a perfect fourth. From here, fives cancel, and we have the fourth root of 1 over a 16. We can still apply the quotient property here. We have the fourth root of 1 and the fourth root of 16. And don't forget the fourth root of 1 is always going to be a 1. Fourth root of 16 is actually a 2. A lot of people forget about the 1 here, and it's actually really nice to see. We take a fourth root, third root, square root of 1, and it's just 1. Either way, our final part here, the fourth root of 5 over 80, simplifies to be a 1 half. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify a radical expression. And if, uh, using the quotient property, excuse me, if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.